Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to um, our video series on the Tumbleweed Championship uh, from 2023. This is a review of the last game between uh, Ben, uh, also known as Destin Querty, and Kamachin uh, in the Grand Finals. Uh, as you may know from the other videos, I am DeLorean and um, I am joined by Ben today to go over Hello, there everyone. and uh, yeah get some uh, get some good uh, tumbleweed secrets so in this game you were red um Komachin gave the pie and gave a uh, pretty standard a8 j9 um although maybe red would be better on uh, on b8 but that's sort of like um a details discussion uh but yeah a a8 uh, j9 very standard um, and you took red, and um, yeah, maybe you you can say like uh, because you had a lot of prep for for this game. So why do you prefer red in this uh, in this opening, or why did you, did you take red? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I took red because I was pretty confident that Komachin would play the long extension to c two, and if yeah. Kamachin does that with white, then red has a line with a forced cut. And I generally prefer keeping my groups connected. I don't like getting cut myself. So for that reason, I basically chose red. Okay. So you were you were thinking that Kamachin were was gonna play uh what he played here, which is yeah. what he played against um against me and against Frasco, I believe, and maybe in some other games. Yeah. Um, so um like I, I should also mention that I I did prep uh, D3 as well, but I thought C2 was slightly more likely. They're pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah, I remember we played a few, uh, we played some games uh, in, in the week before, and D3 looked a bit, um, it looked interesting. Like, to me, it looked a little bit better than C2, but I, I, I don't know. It's hard to refute C2 as, like, as we'll see in the game, it, it, even if you're prepped, it, it, the game was complicated. Right. Um, but yeah, here like yeah, pretty standard going into the center, and then this idea by white to have a really long extension, uh, and this extension is eyeing the c9 hexagon to play uh, white too. Okay, uh, then you play this move. Um, oh, do you want to say maybe a little word? Okay, M maybe you want to say a word about um, what happens if red does something else. Yeah. So. Red has a few options here. If red does not play f8, red can like extend to the bottom a move like k12 or something like that. But I think probably the most sharp and interesting move is g4. Yeah. Because this creates a situation where white can't actually prevent red from getting the cut. And yeah, because the, if, um, yeah. yeah, this leads to that, that pinwheel attack that creates both an attack as well as a second cutting point on e4 and in red can't really sorry white can't really address both of those threats and i guess even if you um as white even if you play this then you can steal back control of uh right of g6 yeah. okay yeah but th that's an interesting one but you didn't go for that because it, you thought it was too complicated yeah. or fighty or yeah. um i thought that if white played the same line that white did in the game against frasco then i would be much better as red mm -hmm. but i thought that commotion wouldn't go into that line and play something stronger so it just felt too too risky it was basically like playing hope a hope game right i was hoping that you know if i played that white would sort of mess up and let me get that cut with the three stack but yeah i, I didn't yeah, think it was gonna happen uh... Yeah, but if you want to see the game against Frasco where this move happens, uh, you can click on the link right now. It was uh, I commented it in the on this channel. Um, but in the game, in the game we get this move, which um, I've been guilty of like stealing from you uh, because <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty cool move. You you played it against um, Alec in some kind of very yeah. not exactly that, but. Yeah, I, I I can explain like the basic idea, and then if you want to add something, uh, sure. feel free. But the basic idea is that um, uh, is looking at this uh, hexagon on g five, and if let's say you get that, um, you if white plays that, then 
you get uh, g5, and there is no way to prevent the cut uh, because you have a double cut cut threat. So um, I, I think yeah, and it's it's very strong in the center. It's very influential. Uh, yeah, to to me, f8 looks like a really good move. So I'll say one more thing about this is that when you play two stacks adjacent to each other and they create two lines going in different directions, it sort of creates four threats in a way because not only do you have the threat of cutting potentially on F5 and G6, but red also sets up this idea of K12. And so it's not really possible for white to deal with all of the expansion ideas from red. So it seems sort of slow in a way because red is playing in a line with this F8 move, but this isn't actually slow at all because it creates more uh, threats than white's able to deal with in the subsequent lines. Yeah, so it's like creating the, uh, directions of expansions, right? Yeah, I can just show the, the lines maybe. Like this. Now you, you have, if, if you play these two next to each right. other, then you have a nice line of expansion. Yeah. Okay. And um, that's kind of annoying. That is kind of annoying. <laughs> it's okay. I just got everything. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, okay. Um, then, then, of course, like, Gomeshian sort of has to play it. I mean, I don't know if he has to play this move, but like th this is sort of the idea behind the whole opening, right? Like get this big triangle and try to expand from it. Um, um, I mean, maybe, yes. did you th do you think this is better? Maybe. I think this is better, yeah. yeah. I was kind of hoping that he wouldn't do this mm -hmm. because this does sort of force my next move because I, I need to uh, add another line of sight to the stack on G8. So this would basically force me to play K12. Yeah. And this would create a sort of Moyu battle, I guess. And not as sharp and interesting. And I mean, there's no forced cut here for red. So I think this is probably better for white. And also white retains the threat to create the big triangle still. So I, I think this keeps more options open for white. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this is a okay. So this is a really like committed move, kind of, I guess. Uh, I, I I mean the the reason I don't like this for white is the um, the links can be like severed uh, at some point, right? But what what do you think? Like, I mean, maybe we'd have to ask Komachin, but like, I, I think maybe Komachin is thinking that um, it's practical to expand from this. I don't know. Yeah, it's sort of um, weird. It's, it's it's not a Moyo thing. It's a I don't know. It does long long link thing maybe. Create a, yeah, it creates a situation where White is threatening to just put a bunch of two stacks on the ninth row. Yeah, and that's kind of annoying for Red to have to invade that later, right? Yeah. Um, and the other thing is that when you have the big triangle, you can do these like sort of pinwheel style attacks um, where you just put two stacks on the ninth row, you put two stacks on the C column, and then on the C2 to chain, and you sort of attack from all directions and you try to exploit um, the weaknesses in, in red's center group by isolating it. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just drawing a triangle. Um, but yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. Like it, all the links seem kind of you, yeah, useful in some way. And it's it just, yeah, I guess it's multiple threats, but yeah, the, um, then you proceed with the, the plan of playing G5. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for now we're also really following the, the same game as, um, my game against Komachin, uh, same thing. And um, okay, uh, so maybe uh, yeah, okay. And now, now this is the difference. Uh, in in like uh, in our game, uh, Komachin, and this is where I I, I leave uh, 
my game against Comachin because then it becomes really different. But um, Comachin plays g6, which is a, in my opinion, a very natural move, trying to gain control of this um, g6 hexagon, getting a third line of sight on it. Um, it it's also nice in terms of influence. It helps um, j9 uh, if it ever gets cut, cut off from c2, which sounds likely. Uh, and so it's not a really surprising move, but I was really surprised in the in the game uh, to see this move. Yeah. And um, I I guess the idea is that I mean one idea in it is that um, it's facing g five, but it's actually a bit impractical to attack it um, because you can't play g two uh, right. as as red because it's controlled by white because of c two. So there's, there's kind of like ge a geometry thing happening, which is kind of nice. Um, so this, I think J5 is an excellent move. I yeah. didn't prepare for it. So this was the first point in the game where I had a bit of a longer think. And I didn't completely see the subsequent line that would follow because I didn't appreciate that the attack against g5 or like the future attack against g5 would come with some secondary threats so i think here i played f5 just continuing with my plan yep yeah uh, cutting yeah the, the next yeah. here okay and then Komachin uh Komachin plays one of the i think one of the thematic moves of this opening as well is cutting um red's access to the bottom okay Cutting the right red line going there. Uh, okay, sounds. I mean, I, I I don't think there's too much unless you want to. But okay, now now you take your chance. Um, there there is like one that. thing I might say about the stack yeah. on h nine. Um, if instead white plays g nine, this yeah. might be like a possible oh. improvement. Oh. You think okay, so you think this is better? Possibly. So for example, red might be tempted to play uh I10 here yep. in order to break the white group. But yep. the problem is that the cut now comes with an attack, right? Yep. On on G8. Yeah. And so let's say red parries this attack. So let's say, yeah. Somewhere. E5, E, something like that, right? So now a white can play i9. Let me just pick something. Yep. Um, i9. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then, yeah. Okay. And so now all of a sudden, red is the group that's getting cut and a little bit isolated. And it's I mean, also quite you... difficult for red to expand here. I guess you can play this, but. I think that this annoying. favors, I think that this favors white slightly because after the capture forces the, the recapture. Mm -hmm. This was capture, yeah. Um, and now it's now white has the tempo, right? The white white can decide mm -hmm. sort of where to expand to. So yeah, even if you can even do that, like if you want, you can do that. Um, you can play J seven two, right? Uh, J seven, yeah. Oh, J yeah. seven or J eight with the the attack. I don't know. There's like a few ideas here, but I think that mm -hmm. um, sounds good. Yeah. Sounds pretty good, but okay, okay. I, I, I think my mind didn't register the this move because it looks scary because you're already um one line of sight away from being attacked. Uh, but right. Okay, okay. But so now you take okay, so now you, you 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 sort of identify that if you don't expand from from your position, then maybe you're gonna have trouble developing in the bottom, uh, especially the bottom right, I guess. Like you right. want, you don't want to get uh, stuck. So, and also you you take control of uh, the G nine hex yep. by playing here, which sounds pretty reasonable to me. And Komachin um, played an attack on C five, yep. uh, which uh, attacking twos around here is also something that happened in the other game. Um, but the um, yeah, like how did you plan to to deal with it? Like, were you scared about right. this area so, being attacked? So in my prep, I prepped this move, but I because I didn't prep it with J five in mind, I missed something. Right, 
So my idea here, I was expecting to play I8 because I8 is the shield creates two threats, right? It threatens to cut on J8, right? And it threatens to cut on I9. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that this would actually be a really strong response. So I was happy to see that Komachin played C5, okay, but I missed something, right? Now on J8, this one is attacked too. So that one's attacked, but that's not like the only thing. So if red just follows up with the idea, which was going to be I9. Uh, yeah. And, sure. um, white takes. And now there's double yeah. attack. So you have so, to play this move or something. Or maybe yeah, but you, you can't actually save both of the stacks. Yeah. Right. So I missed that. And that's all because of the J5 move that happened earlier on. Mm -hmm. That's like a subtle difference, but it creates this sort of line. And yeah, because if so just, just to fill the yeah, viewers. Um, um if yeah, if you have, oops, that's not what I want. Uh, I want this, I guess, yeah. Um, if this J5 uh, stack was on J6, like in, you know, it's a mo more, I don't know, classical move, I guess. Um, then by playing on uh, I8, uh, you really have no, like, white can't play. Like, th this, this is not an attack, and now you have you have free reign to, like, cut, and then yeah. everything's yeah. okay. Red's just doing very well, yeah. Yeah, and even if this one gets attacked, then you can just parry or something. I don't know, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, so this is a, a problem. Uh, but um, let me just put this one back in. Uh, it, hopefully I didn't mess up any, everything up. Yeah, so in the game, you do play this shield. Uh, I do, so yeah. You, so you do miss, yeah, do miss that. And then yep. Comachin does play that. Um, and now you have to defend, right? Uh, as you yeah. said, you can't afford to lose it. And now I guess Comachin cuts. Yeah. Um, that's that's very smart tumbleweed. Uh, but it, it is pretty much forced, I guess. Yeah. Like you have to. Okay. Um, and now you okay. Now you cut the link on the left. Um, I mean, it does look like. A, Pretty big move. So I, I played this move because I wanted to respond to I8 takes with the capture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if, if white takes, it attacks the two here. So then if you can take, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And I guess if you do something else, then you, yeah, you're going to have some problems. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that what happens? Maybe it is. No, it's not. Okay. So shield also attacking the neutral um i'm i'm always sort of curious because like i have grown like personally i mean this is your game so like i i don't go i need to, to not go into big tangents but like in my understanding of tumbleweed Right now, it, it was maybe not the same like a year ago or something, but um, keeping one group is good. Like, what do you think? What do you think is White's plan? Um, maybe to, to squeeze you in the middle or something? Because so what White is committing to, to keeping some of the top, which I guess is smart, yeah. well, otherwise it's too big. But what, what's um, a, what do you think is a good like plan for White? In this position. So right now, white has three islands, right? They have the island in the top left, they have the island at the bottom right, which is their strong group, and then they have this two stack on C9. Yeah. Um, I think that if white can connect two of the islands, then they're doing quite well. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And makes the sense. thing is that, that um, White has some relatively straightforward moves in order to accomplish that goal, right? Like, you know, coming up to G2, like D2, mm -hmm. all, all those sorts of ideas kind of surrounding red with tempo, I think is going to be a little bit difficult for red to, to deal with. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Uh, that does make sense. In the game, what do we get? So you you okay? So you attack this immediately, and you prevent the capture of the neutral, which yeah. I guess would be kind of good. Um, yeah, 
So, and then, okay, and then maybe this is a move that I, I, I thought about um, because it's very natural, but also like just because it makes sense to help like for, for white to help their weakest group uh, being the two in the, in the yeah. left. So, okay, so now I guess you sort of have to hold this separation between the top and the bottom, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, top, top and bottom left, yeah, sorry. Uh, so you shield, and then on this move, okay, which I guess attacks something and yep. reinforces the top. Yep. I mean, yeah, stop me if you, if you want, but it, it seems very natural. Yep. Um, now you can parry, uh, of course, because you have two defenders. So with this parry, um, where you're looking to do several things at once, right? Right. So yeah, red wants to prevent the cut at d8. Yeah. Because you, you have to hold that connection as red. And you also want to be able to parry any attack against I11, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's basically the reason for this move. So, okay, so I guess like for now, you could say like this game is about uh, connection. Yep. And yeah, it makes sense. And so you have so you have um or like more about this connection. You have things that white tries to connect, and then you're trying to keep the disconnections here and keep the disconnection here. Yeah. Which is the same thing as keeping your connection, but like it's kind of a yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Um then okay, then a quiet move, but probably a good one. Yeah, yeah. this is a good move. Sounds good, but I was wondering if it was a bit small, but... No, it, it's not small in my opinion because it forces my next move, but then it gives white the tempo, right? Mm -hmm. So after it takes, yep. then white has J6. J... Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Closing the, the right and the back. And yeah. The... yeah, and this is kind of a really small, like, concave shape. So it's kind yeah. of hard to defend. Yeah. Makes sense. So now you take the shield. Yep. Uh, but the shield can't live uh, if 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 white wants. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. But um, Kamachin doesn't go for that. Uh, yeah. So I think Kamachin correctly identifies that it's more important to have the three stack on i five, which works towards that goal that I mentioned earlier, where if white can connect two of the three islands. Then white's in good shape, and it seems to be that white's attempting to do that with this move. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. So it's, I, I'd say, like for now, it's really good direction of play from from both parts. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so now you're getting some presence into the right, so yep. you're taking advantage of what, yeah, of that um, hole. Which so you, would you say like when you have an opening like this, it's um it's good to take advantage of it because yeah. I guess it it's your last chance of playing a two here. Um, um, you, you need to, in my opinion, sort of fight back in these positions with a positional move of your own, because if white is going to win some territory on the top right, I can't just concede the bottom right as well. I have to fight back in some way. Yeah. Um, and I think that this move is a reasonable way to do that. Hmm. Do, do you, would you say white is ahead or maybe um, it's I, undecided? I think in this position, it's probably, probably close to even, maybe okay. slight advantage to white, but I think it's relatively close. Yeah. Okay. So then in the game, how does, okay, so then Komachin does this, which makes sense, like it's a double attack. Um, yep. I guess you can play here, but maybe it's not yep. what you do. Yeah, yep. I guess it's a, it sounds natural. Uh, but then what happens? Okay, then this move. Um, I guess this is looking, so okay, you have this this attack on, on this too, yep. obviously, but also, it's looking at capturing C C six. Yep. Um, and maybe then you can get a three here or something. I don't know. I was thinking if it it, it was trying to help like the connection here as well, probably. 
Yeah. And then you, you defend, I guess. You just defend as far yep. as you can. Yeah. Um, and then, okay. Then Komachin takes it to here. Yep. And I guess, like, he knows that this is going to get cut here. Um, but it's fine. Um, because, yeah, you get these nice links here. I mean, this link is going to die, but, like, you get this nice link. You get a two in the bottom. Yep. You get um, under the, the red stones here. Yeah, uh, which I think is very important, uh, not to stay in on one side of your opponent, and um, yeah, makes sense. And you choose to do that. Uh, is it like a consolidating move or something like that? Yeah. So I can't, in my opinion, let White connect from the bottom right group to the two stones or stacks on D nine and C nine. So uh, yeah, yeah. If I can hold this group together by preserving the life of that one stack on I mean this... I eleven through that sort of area, then I think mm -hmm. um, red will be uh, connected. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so if white cuts here, then. Maybe you sort of retreat a little bit, but like something like that. I don't know. Yeah, you could play something like that. The, the yeah. parry may be also be interesting, but yeah, probably both. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, but then maybe it's complicated. Um, maybe it's uh, this one or something like something more. Yeah. I don't know. I guess you, you do have some interesting moves. Okay, and then... Then Komachin turns his attention to the right. Um, maybe it makes sense because he doesn't want to be like split into here or like he doesn't want you to right. get too much. Um, this attacks here and obviously does that. Um, one actually, maybe the one shape that I should point out this is relatively instructive yep. is that if you go back one move, um, let's say let's say white just passes here just to illustrate the idea. Yeah. Um, Red can play K8. K8. Uh, oh. Yep. And now white is disconnected. Yeah, because red is connected, right? Like red controls the, this. Exactly. Yeah. Like this is a sort of bamboo joint thingy. Exactly. So um, uh, then this would be, I think, basically winning for red. So makes sense. Yeah. So in the game, this okay. So that that's a crucial, yeah, crucial point in the board. Um, you play this, and then okay. Um, I think I can't remember exactly, but I think that um. So I, I guess now you played this one, right? Okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, let me see if I can uh, figure it out. Um, I was watching the live stream by Alec and um. Uh, very entertaining live stream and insightful and um, yeah you can find it in the link and uh, they were saying that there was a mistake here by Komachin because this move looks natural but you can play something else um, you, you can, can play, play lower this move. yeah you can play k11 yeah. yeah which protects protects this k8 thing so like the net sort of holds for now yeah and and this is this severs the the, the link on the bottom. Yeah. Mm. Um, I saw this after. Mm -hmm. I I was like sure that Komachin would play K eight. It seemed like such an obvious move, mm -hmm. but it's not it's not that great. Um, yeah. K eleven is like White's just ahead here. There's no yep. I think there's no two ways about it. But... Yeah, because you hold here and then you you cut the link. It's very important. Yep. Uh, but yeah, yeah. But in the game, like Kamashin uh, played this, which is completely natural. Like it's it just locally it makes so much sense. Um, but then you have this move, uh, which gets yeah. you more presence into the bottom right, and then you can do something. Right. Um, yeah, attacking the two. So now, yeah, shield, obviously. Um, uh, just as an aside to to uh, yeah, maybe more newer newer players. Um, you could capture as white, but like you don't really like you. You sort of want to get the most out of your moves, so like uh, 
this makes more sense because you you protect yeah. this too, uh, which you would do by capturing, but you protect this too, and at the same time you cut uh, right. a line into the bottom, bottom right and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, then you attack this. So Comachin plays I-10 uh, yeah. here, and um, yeah. I guess he's kind of committing to keeping I-10 as well. Right. Sort of. But he's, commi he's committing to try to keep, I mean, I, I, it makes sense to defend. He's also looking at keeping um, J-11 stuff and cutting. Yeah. And, because if you just want to keep this, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, it, it makes sense that he's trying to fight here. Um, and then you go there, yeah. And I guess here you take advantage of the what's left in the in this three stack that's about to die uh, to yeah. give an attack. Yeah, I mean this move is a bit of a bluff because my idea was that because the K seven one stack was weak, if White lets me capture on J six, that I would be yeah. threatening to connect myself. But, but I'm not actually threatening anything exactly. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's nothing to do here. And then this is a parry. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so bit of a bit of a bluff, but I thought it might give me some some tempo in the right side and create some problems. Hmm. And then Komachin, I guess, defended. Okay, yeah. yeah, by capturing. Okay. And then now you can get this two here. Um yeah. pretty interesting. Does Komachin reinforce? I think so. From what I, I can, or maybe not. No, no yeah, I, I think it's. I think it's better. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Hmm. So what do you do? Okay, you choose the right side. Yeah. And then maybe Komachi takes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very natural. And then you choose. Okay, you choose this point to come back to the top. And I guess, from my yeah. understanding, so so you're trying to keep things disconnected and you're getting scared that this is going to curve around and uh, and yeah. try to connect to C2 or something or do something. Right. So you... the thing, yeah, the thing is, is that if I don't play this move now and then white captures on I6, then I don't have the two stack on E2 anymore, right? Yeah, so let's say whatever. And then, yeah, then you don't have E2. And now it's getting actually kind of awkward to reach the top because you want to connect to the top, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean the middle of the top. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You want to connect? Yeah. Actually, you know, um, as an aside, like I think this has been like the um, one of the lessons for me of the championship. Um, it's the importance of connection, and I guess I I knew the importance of connection from last year's championship where. Uh, it was sort of Alex, uh, guiding principle, uh, in some positions. But like, yeah, I I realized that the the strong players, uh, except me, but like uh, <laughs> the strong the, the other like the, the the stronger players were often worried about connecting to the side as well. Right, and that's a very really important concept. I don't know. Because by connecting to the side, you disconnect uh, your opponent, right? I guess. Okay, but that's yeah. It sounds like a really good move. I I don't know if I have much to add. Um, yeah. Then okay. How does I guess match in defense by uh, playing D two probably or okay. I was I was thinking D two, but I guess it doesn't attack, so maybe not. Is there any reason for preferring D D three to D two, or is it just a... so D three is going to create a line of sight into the right side, um, yeah. and this is going to make it a little more difficult for me to hold the connection after critically white captures on I six, because right now the connection is solid for red, but after the capture, all of a sudden it starts to become less clear if red yeah, can actually maintain that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. makes sense. Okay, so then, okay, then I think this is the point where the game started being a bit nebulous for me. Um, right. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like the, no, uh, just like it, I feel like it, the considerations are kind of too hard. Um, or like it, it's very tricky to judge which part is the, the most important. Right. Um, 
Because if you really want to keep the connection, then I guess maybe you can play a three here, right? But maybe that's yeah, that, that's, so that's just too slow. So, so this this thing is bigger. Okay. Yeah. And I I guess also you need to um you need to ensure that this part here is is all right. Uh, because you want you don't want it to reach the left. Right. So I'm still sort of yeah, I'm still operating with this idea of like, you know, I wanna create three white islands instead of letting white connect with the two islands. Yeah. I mean I think it's yeah, it was definitely a really good plan. Um Okay, yeah, shield. And then Okay. Um I guess this is to, to avoid some problems here. Like yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. And then all right yeah so this goes back to the um, so by playing a two here um white ha adds a line of sight from the left to this this crucial area here so you, you felt like you should defend it right? yeah the thing, uh, this move is probably not that great hmm. it seems a bit slow i don't think that white's threat was that significant but I, I don't know. I always get worried when white's threatening to cut like that, especially because I'm still worried about the capture on i6, right? Like, I, I would be more tempted to play this, but maybe I'm missing. Yeah, no, that, that's probably that's probably a better move, in my, my opinion. Yeah, keeping the, the triangle thingy. Yeah. Going on. Because I, I guess if this two holds, then um, your position kind of holds. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of the spear into the cup or something uh, but um okay in the game this and then okay very natural attack in yeah. my opinion then you have a very natural shield yeah um and then attacking the shield uh yeah. do you play here oh yeah, yeah i guess that's the only move okay now you play this one right oh okay Mm -hmm. I, I play yeah, I play E one. Yeah, you played E one, but do you think do you think this is better? I don't know. It might be better. It's hard to say. This does if you play G three, it threatens D two, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking but, at attacking this too, but yeah. I, I also played E1 because I thought that Kamachi might be worried about me wrapping around uh, to the top, right? And at this point in the game, Kamachi didn't have much time, so I thought that this might be oh. a more tricky move to deal with because I'm also threatening to get into the top left. Yeah, right? three stack here. And that, yeah. that proves to be useful later on, but mm -hmm. perhaps White could have responded to this a little bit more compellingly, right? Like. White doesn't even need to deal with this immediately because White has bigger moves in the bottom left. Mm -hmm. So you think maybe White plays here or something? Um, maybe there, or maybe something like just captures on H10. Okay. I, I mean, if White captures on H10, it, yeah, it, it doesn't do worse than points. Yeah. Oh, and also you're threatening this one. Yeah. G G9 to capture yeah. the three stack. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that would be that would be a good move. Yeah. Then if you try to hold, then I guess you have some stuff that you can do. I don't know. Play around here. I would be tempted to. Uh, yeah. You know, what white's white's just connected there, and that's sort yeah. of um, difficult for me to deal with. So white's clearly ahead right now. Mm. Oh. Okay, and then in the in the game there's that uh, which does yep. attack this L six uh, stack. Yep. So then I guess you sort of retreat from it. Or you don't. You attack this one. Yeah, this is also not a great move. Um, I mean, it doesn't this, seem too big, but it's not. I I also played this move very quickly because I was trying to at this point pressure on the clock, and I thought that Kamachi might be nervous about losing the top right, but. Yeah. In hindsight, it's just not a compelling move. 
Oh, I would make in Vegas and then there's yeah, there's there's nothing there. So not a great move, but I played it you know quickly. Yeah. Okay, but then maybe you could mention defended. Um yeah. Right. So I guess it didn't cost you it doesn't cost you much. Right. And then you have you're free to come back and play in the bottom. Um yep. so you choose this. I, I I guess so like yeah. The way I understand it, you choose this move because um, you want to get under uh, white and you want to try to like sort of get presence in the bottom to, yep. to yeah, hopefully capture this too, maybe or something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe too hopeful, but um, makes sense. Okay. Getting some presence in the bottom. I I don't think I would have played that, but it makes sense. It's it's. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about this move. I think, and uh, you know, I'm in no position to to talk. But okay, so now you now you sever this link, um, yeah. And I guess it's still because you want to keep white disconnected. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Uh, now we're getting a bit more into end game, but still, it's still a bit undecided. Like this link could be a bit scary. For yeah. Me. Like the, there's some threats. Say, yeah, there's B seven, like white looking at B seven, um, looking at getting the corner. So, but but okay. So you're saying this is not big enough, um, right? And you do something that I yeah I was that's what I was expecting you to do uh, before instead of attacking this two here before um, yes yeah. re retreating from this one before you lose it to to use the line of sight. Um, yeah, that's what I should have done um, before. Uh, probably a better move, though, in this position is L8 instead of N8. The retreat doesn't do as much as I hoped. L8. Okay. This is just a, like a more direct threat. So this is too greedy, right? Yeah, yeah the, the like, too greedy. Yeah, red needs to play an attack there. So I think L8 is the, probably the best move. But what white does it need to answer the attack, right? White kind of needs to be a bit careful here because if if red captures on K8 with a three stack, red's living big in the right side, right? Mm. Like oh, okay, I see. So now, now so, you have to deal with something. Yeah, and, and then and then you can you can come back and I don't yeah, know, maybe something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that was tricky. Maybe that's probably something. I I, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So now I guess you can't really do that. But uh, okay, in the game you play this, and then shield. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This shield is maybe too good. Yeah. Too yeah. Good, yeah. But but you, you, in this position you think you're ahead, or no, not yet. Um. Mm -hmm. There's still one more problem that I need to resolve in this position in order for it to get ahead, which I think that sequence is coming up pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So you attack this. Oh, okay. So yeah. we're we're get we're gonna see the end of the yeah. Yeah, I remember now of this yeah. business here. Um so, so this is the sequence that puts spread quite clearly ahead. Oh, that's a good move. Yeah. Yeah. Shield and then, I guess you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you prevent the connection to the bottom. Yeah. And now that this looks pretty weird, um, yeah, yeah. I I, I agree. Yeah. Now, red is is ahead. Um, and now Comachin. Okay. I was I think I was a bit surprised by this move. Um. Because I would be expecting you know something like this maybe. Uh, but it chooses to like use this too uh, to get some presence here. But yeah, I don't know if Komachin noticed that I could respond to that move with the capture or not. Maybe he did and he thought it was fine. But the fact that I can just take on you know the three stack J J fifteen is pretty yeah. good for Red. I think. Uh, I think he he was also low on time, so it's. Uh... Um, there's maybe I, I, one more thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, I, and I, I want to say, like, I, I don't think it's a blunder. It's just like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it sounds weird to sacrifice the this stack. 
Like usually, I don't think you want to sacrifice a stack that is attacked from far away because you're giving away like a really long link. Right. And this link for red is pretty good. But yeah. Um, if you go back a few moves, just I want to point out one more thing about the yep. connection in the to the bottom of the port. Um, I think probably there is a way for white to keep everything there. Okay, um, from which move? So if you go back one more move to until until it's white's move. So here, um, yeah. So after I play uh, I thirteen. White can respond with, uh, I think, K13 probably works. I um, thirteen then K13. OK. Right. And so this move here keeps the connection for white. And it also sort of makes it difficult for me to live in the bottom right unless I spend a lot of time there. Uh, that doesn't work. Huh. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, that's some stuff. Yeah. Okay. And you think this works because it cuts the link or something? Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that sounds... Whoops. That sounds... Uh... Yeah, that looks like a way better result. I I, I guess maybe it, it was too tempting for white to just capture in response yeah. to this attack, but I guess capturing is just a move in the center. Um, this is maybe one instructive point. Like, there's a lot of positions in which you want to induce your opponent to capture because your follow-up keeps the tempo with you, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not worried about losing h10 because my follow-up move is going to be an attack and then i can keep tempo yeah right hmm. yeah and also h10 is something you can maybe afford to lose for now you need to be a bit careful about um j i think g9 was a big move later yeah, G9 is, is a threat, but I still have the connection at E9. So, so long as I can hold that, then I'm probably fine. Tips of the game, we got that and that. Oops. I can just edit that part back to the... Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, Commission gets this sort of result. Yep. Getting something kind of stable on the on the left. Um, I mean, you're not going to kill it, obviously, but I guess it's too big. But um, yeah. But then, okay, then you come back and you save your um, left side, kind of. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you solve some problems. Uh, yeah. Which is good. Yeah, I don't think there's much more. Okay, that's a. Okay, do you think this three stack? Hmm. I mean, it it looks like an interesting move. Yeah. It's hard to expand from it, but you do have this um this nice link as white. It's probably gonna get cut. Yeah. But... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it. That. Yep. And then um okay then you can get a three stack, but then. I. Yeah, I don't know how much you expand from that. Okay, so here you're trying to be stable on the on the right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Were you trying to like get a small group here or something? Well? Yeah, I. If I can get a two stack on N ten as well, then I'm living all the way up to the like O eight area. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to force White's hand here, and the other thing that I want to do is that having the O column. Um, gives me a lot of stuff to sort of fight back against white in the bottom right. So this is sort of a multi-purpose move. Yeah, having having a, a stack on the side is really important for invasions. I, I yeah. always forget that. Like for defending, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, OK, so now we get that. Um, yeah. and, then, and then you cut the, OK, yeah, that makes sense. 
you yep. just like close things yep yep okay that's okay so the, that that's a bit slow no it, it's slow yeah i mean it's worth um, some points but um maybe there's more no it's Could, it's it... oh yeah yeah i remember um we were talking uh during the game about instead playing here oh it doesn't work no i don't know if it super works but like okay let's say you defend this mm -hmm. um then maybe does that i don't know maybe it's not big enough somehow i thought it was bigger huh. yeah actually like in this sort of position, I just, I just think it's really important for Red to keep the objective in mind. All that Red needs to do to win is hold the connection between all of the groups, right? Yep. So it doesn't really matter at this point, in my opinion, that White can get H or like G9. Yeah. Like White's not connecting anything with that move at this point. Yeah. So not much to be done there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I overestimated the importance of this three stack. But okay, but okay, so white plays this, then yep. you play here. Okay, maybe a move here was better for white, no? Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably a little bit more compelling because I don't have any immediate breakthroughs there. So what white's getting a, a bit of a group, I would say. And now we get, okay, we get some something pretty interesting. Uh, you were saying that O9, yep. you liked O9 because it gives you control of the O column. Uh, but now, of course, like playing here, Gomachin is looking at some moves uh, here or yep. here, um, which looks pretty dangerous. Uh, yep. And uh, you do have a way of getting back some control, yep. but um, there's still some stuff. So what did you... Okay, so you went for, for this one. So you block the line of sight from three stack here. Yeah, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, um, yeah, Comachin sees this one, the, this two here, and uh, takes it. Um, sorry, I'm going a bit fast, but there's some interesting endgame later that I, I want to get to. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that, yeah. And yeah, but feel free to stop me, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the, um, okay, that looks like a good move. Yeah. Double attack, yeah. Bit of a funny shape. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's getting something out of this. Uh, he's getting some points here. And then, okay, then you choose not to defend uh, because I guess you don't want white playing uh, here or something. Yeah, like. I, I thought that, you know, um, I can kill the bottom right corner if. I play M13 or, or something like that. Whereas if I save the stack on yeah, then L11, you know, I save one point in that area, right? But I'm yeah. most likely losing, you know, four points, five points in the I, in the bottom right. I think so, yeah. Because even if you hook up some, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, hook up some. No, uh, yeah. I I I don't know, like you, yeah. Or yeah, that's, that's some points for sure. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, makes sense. So you give that away, and um, yeah, you did, you did that right. Um, I like this move as well. Um, yeah. But you can you can double shield, right? Yeah, you can double shield. Mm -hmm. Double attack, double shield. Um, yeah. Takes, which is an attack, and then I guess you shield. Maybe you don't shield. No. Yeah, now, now it's getting pretty interesting. I remember this this sort of shape. Um, yeah, you're you're betting. So here you're already betting that if red captures, then you can kill, right? Like you're okay, so here, and if if white captures here, then you're you're saying that you can you can delete this, right? So this was like the last sort of difficult think of the game. Because I needed to calculate that at the end of all of this capture sequence, um, I'm going to be recapturing the majority of what 
white sable to get from me. <laughs> yep. I, I feel like this is a really instructive uh, position regarding shape. Yeah. Pretty interesting. So I, I, I'm pretty sure that 015 is the best move here. And there might be something else that works as well. Like maybe N15 also works. Um, it's probably the same thing, yeah. Similar idea, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe we can just, just play out the sequence. I can try to illustrate my, my point and then we'll go on to the, the, the sort oh, of yeah, conclusion. We can, just, we can just go through the exact sequence of the game, yeah. Yeah. And this, um, then, okay, capturing this three here. Yep which is going to die, it's going to be a white point. Um, but then you play here. Okay, so I have a question for uh, you. What happens if white plays this one? Um, so here, like, red has to be a little bit careful because if white is also able to play L12, then white is connected all the way to the bottom, and there's nothing yeah. that Ray can do about it, right? Yeah, because uh, just to to illustrate, like if 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 white is allowed this, then um, this is going to be in reinforced to a three. Uh, yeah. This two is going to be fine. Everything is going to hold. Yeah. That's yeah. My, my point. Um. So, so now you you play here. Yeah, red can, in theory, could play there. Um. But I think uh, there's still some stuff that you have to deal with, right? So red, yeah, here. And now white's living with five. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's super important. Yep. Um, and the other thing is that if we instead see the other move from red, so if red plays L15, mm -hmm. so after, uh, sorry, after uh, L12 from red. Oh, sorry. Because, yeah, uh, we, we want to, L12 is basically. Forced, but if here, then, then, then the exactly, then you leave N14, yeah. right? So the point of, but yeah, if you're challenging the control of this, it's, yeah, it's exactly, cool. yeah. Um, but so then, okay, so then if white plays this, you play here? No. Uh, no, no, because this yeah, lives right, for... Right. Um, no, because this still lives for, for white. Oh, where do you play? White plays L12 still. Huh. Okay, and then on this one you play... So here, yeah, what I'm trying, yeah, what I'm trying to illustrate here is that it doesn't matter where red plays, white is living with hmm. uh, at least five points. Okay, so, so white could live in this position. Yeah, yeah. That would be lives. better for red, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, okay, so it's good that white played here. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, still the result is not bad. Not too bad for red, but you lose some, you lose points. Yeah. Like it's not cataclysmic, but it's it's annoying if if white lives. Yeah, it's, it's a hard sequence to calculate. Yeah, I think. But yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. No, but I mean, like even in the other results. Um, even if white lives, it, it's still sort of okay for red, right? Yeah. Yeah, but but it, it, what we got in the game um, is pretty uh, pretty impressive. Uh, I I think it's the the biggest snapback I've seen. So yeah, if we, we can these two and three. illustrate here. It doesn't it doesn't matter that the stack on K thirteen is under attack mm -hmm. because in the end game it will. Be red. Yep. Um, maybe maybe I can just play the um, the natural moves. Um, so it's just whatever like local moves. I mean. Yep. Um, like even if you have this and you reinforce this to a three, then eventually this three is gonna fall. Yep. Um, I can just maybe. Oh, I guess it's too long. But like this three is gonna fall. We're gonna see it later anyway. So, uh, just to illustrate the point. This three is not going to hold because it's going to be attacked on four sides. Then this three is going to uh, be captured. And I guess the best hope is to place a four stack here or a five stack uh, for for white. But uh, this K13 is going to get recaptured because it's going to be attacked from this side as well. Yeah. So 
in the game. So it doesn't matter, yeah. Um, that is attacked, and it's and then you, you you take a one, which was the big threat from before. Yeah, uh, yeah. And now what happens? Um, so I I think this is good from Kamachin, uh attacking a eight. It seemed pretty forced. Uh, yeah. For you to have to yeah, do that. Yeah. Then Kamachin defends this, uh, playing on the contested hexagon. Mm -hmm. And and then this you attack, and uh, you just want to make sure that you can connect to your group. Yep. Um. Okay, that sounds. Seems like a pretty good move, yeah. Just to make sure that you flatten the yeah. white group on the side. Okay, so here you do that. And takes. Then you take. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good yeah. use of shape as well. Pretty smart. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is not going to hold. Um, mm -hmm. Which means that this one is not going to hold. Yeah, so th this it's one a pretty is hold with four, but yeah. Well, he can reinforce to a four now if he wants oh. uh, to create the sharp point. Oh, he did. Um, yeah, true. Sorry. So that was, as far as like end game goes, pretty good from a Kamachi, but it's just not enough. Yep. And now uh, we get this move, but it doesn't do much more. And I think we can probably stop the review here, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, um, it there's not really any more contested area. To, yeah, to it's just and you, there was this really interesting shape on the bottom, and also like this, this uh, the way that you handled this one is pretty interesting. Um, I I wouldn't have found that. I would have just taken. Uh, yeah, and then you you allow this. I don't know. It, it, yeah, the, the way you yeah. do it is better probably because then then you you definitely. Um, yeah, uh, you you close the you can close the white group and it can't expand on the side and yeah you can't use the two on the bottom left and yeah stuff like yeah that. it basically felt like the the safest option yeah makes sense but okay so what do you think so I guess we sort of covered that but like oh so first congratulations uh, of course you already had congratulations for for your victory <laughs> uh, it, it was a pretty entertaining game and pretty long game. Yeah. Um, I I I'm pretty surprised that the game went the way it did, being like this contested. Uh, given that you had so much prep against uh, this opening, but yeah, as we said before, the J five thing uh, was yeah. sort of a wrench in your in your plans. But um, yeah, yeah. So I guess this game was about like disconnection or stuff like that. I mean, yeah, connecting. And and you think that if white managed to connect two of the islands, white could have won more? Most likely, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Especially the bottom left group to the right side. Oh, yeah. There's like yeah. a few moments where white could have basically forced that to happen. And had that occurred, most likely white would have been winning. Yeah, it would be done. 